And now to the pandemic. Tuesday will mark a significant date on the state calendar, and that's because June 15th represents California's much-anticipated economic reopening. But there are some mixed feelings tonight about this milestone. CBS 2's Rick Montanez is in Santa Monica with reaction to the changes. The kitchen at Bruno's Italian restaurant in Santa Monica is expected to get much busier on Tuesday. Okay, thank you. June 15th, the long-awaited day for California's economic reopening. Vaccinated customers can freely go into restaurants and most other businesses without a mask. At this time, we're okay with it because... Um, you know, it is summer and they have it under control and majority of the people over 65 who are most vulnerable are vaccinated. And places like Bruno can fill their dining rooms to full capacity for the first time in over a year. We've been waiting for that quite a bit. Now we're excited to open up. But rejoining big crowds isn't the most exciting news to some people. We're not fully there yet. We're, we're close. Chris and Terry Porter from Chicago say even as restrictions lift, they're still keeping their distance and their masks handy. And we've been fully vaccinated. We'll wear our mask when we're around big crowds. I, I, a little bit of respect for other people. Dr. Ricardo White, the medical director for psychiatric services at Community Hospital of San Bernardino, says some concern about a return to full capacity and big crowds is to be expected. There are just a host of unknowns because we haven't done this before. So it's reasonable to expect some anxiety. He says the key is to keep the anxiety from taking over. Focus on what you can control, like avoiding large crowds if you still prefer some social distance. Practices that center you uh, can be very important in helping you get through moments like this. We've all had a lot to get through with this pandemic, and even those who feel anxious are ready to put COVID in the past. Hope uh, this thing it's over for good, never comes back, and good luck to everybody. Dr. White says it's best to funnel those anxious feelings into something productive. But if they become overwhelming, it's time to contact a mental health professional. In Santa Monica, Rick Montanez, CBS 2 News.